hello guys welcome back to my channel happy valentine to all of you guys thank you so much for the love thank you for the support thank you for the subscription if you're a new subscriber thank you for coming if you're an old or returning subscriber god bless you i promise you you're not going to regret subscribing to my channel so guys please make sure you share this video because i know it will be helpful to your friends subscribe like share comment please i need your comment i need it please make sure you're commenting so you tell me your mind tell me if you try the recipes i drop here i think it will be i know that my, my recipes are going to be helpful so guys in this video i want to teach you guys how to activate your shower gels now you see all these shower gels they write um bleaching in five days bleaching in 10 days bleaching in 15 days it doesn't work like that so if you are a lover of shower gels or if you're using shower gels and they're not working there are ways you activate these shower gels and they will start working there are things you need to add inside this thing to make it work so in this video i want to tell you i want to teach you how to activate your shower gels to make it work as in when you when you activate it as in you start using it your body your skin will tell that okay you're using this thing you get so in this in this video i will teach you how to activate your shower gels and make your shower gels work very very well work effectively okay so let's go to my workstation guys remember to like this video give it give it a thumbs up thumbs up subscribe to my channel comment drop your opinions i will see them and i will reply them let's go to my workstation Bye -bye. so guys welcome back to the channel so let's start this activation so here we have our magic portion white kojic acid bleaching chow gel in 10 days we have our amos white gel tube temple vet gel tube now guys i know you will hear gel gel tube and you'll be like ha what is this gel gel listen these gel tubes are not those kind of gel tubes that hurts the skin or all those hot gel tubes these gel tubes are Natural, they are very good to the skin. Like this one now contains clobetasol, and you know what clobetasol does to the skin? It's for skin treatment, so it's not that harsh uh, uh, tubes. So let's clear it from your mind right now. Okay, so now within these two tubes, this is the normal one that I was supposed to use for this um training or for this practical, but because I couldn't place my hands on this one because this is really scarce at the moment, so I had to use this temple gel tube because this was white gel tube is hair is harsh and sorry it's scarce so if you can see it in your location is okay we have better so we have better so two better so solution it's very nice to the skin we have two dope shampoo egg yolk Joe shampoo makes the skin look very beautiful, very nice. Then we have tough peroside. Now, what this tough peroside does, even if you have a hard skin, even if your skin is very hard, as in your skin, not the uh, uh, creams doesn't work on your skin or so doesn't work on your skin. Once this thing is there, it makes everything easier, and also it works uh, for skin reactions. You know, when somebody it prevents skin reaction with this thing inside the soap. There will be no skin reaction. It will control skin reaction of any type. So this is tough peroxide and this is 100 ml of tough peroxide. We have our sham stretch mark water. So with this sham stretch mark water in this soap, there is nothing like stretch mark. You know that kind of thing when you're whitening your skin or when your skin is getting whitened, whitened up and, and your skin is neat, no stretch mark, no acne, that is what this two does so with these two things you don't have to be scared of reactions or or skin redness or maybe white patches or anything and also with this one involved you don't have to be scared of stretch mark it is not possible so we have our bleaching powder this is our bleaching powder this is the white bleaching powder we have the blue bleaching powder and they have the white bleaching powder so this is the white bleaching powder mainly used for soap so guys let's start I will loosen up this soap and pour it in my well sanitized bowl. Make sure you sanitize your bowl very well, it is important. Make sure your bowl is sanitized 
So I'll pour it in here. Okay, so I will add two. Come and help me. Two of my two of my dope um, shampoo. I'll add two of my dope shampoo. Open this for me. I'll add two of my sorry guys, I'm in practical. I have a student here. So while we are I'm making this video, she's also learning. Okay, so You guys know I like I like doing this. I like bringing everything out. So we'll measure out all this. We'll measure out four tablespoons. That's if it is good. So use this cup and measure out four tablespoons of bleaching powder. And also you use this cup and mix the two together. First of all. Bring out the tubes. Put it inside here. So, guys, while she's doing that, I'll be pouring this one inside here. Okay? Please be fast. Miss it. Also, I'll be adding my tough peroside. I'll be adding the wall of the 100 ml. I'll be adding the one of the 100 ml. So, but if you can't place your hand on this one, it's still okay. Even if you can't place your hand, if you can, if you don't have this one, it's still okay. You can also, you can just add your bitter soul or the bleaching powder or any one you can get your hands into. If you can get Damalis cleanser, Damalis cleanser is okay. If you can get 40, 42 hours lotion tonic, that one too is a cleanser. It is still okay. If you can't get these things, please don't panic. Eh? It is still safe. Anyone you can lay your hands on is okay. This one is for my practical. All right. So I will measure out five tablespoons. Sorry, four tablespoons of my bleaching powder. Everything is now becoming messy very messy so guys if you have stayed up until this moment please to subscribe to my channel guys it is very very important please guys subscription is absolutely free the reason why we say subscribe is that you get to see everything whenever i post new videos you get to see them hmm? yes so I added one and four because I can't leave down one. So I will mix this bleaching powder with I will mix this bleaching powder with my better soul solution. It is a it is a solution that is used to mix powders. Turn the tube now, you done. So this is one. Get the other one. This is what pro mixing is for you. All right. So guys, it is time to turn this thing. So you don't pour your powders immediately inside this thing. It is no good. You first of all melt your powders. It is very very important that you melt your powders first before pouring it into your soap it is important please don't just come and pour your soap inside it will hurt your skin just mix the powders first before pouring it into the soap it is important guys so i will pour this here see see the texture this is the best way you to promise you first of all mix your powders like I said before, if you can't get any of these, you can use Damalis Cleanser. If you don't have Damalis Cleanser, you can just use this Beta Soul. If you don't have the Beta Soul, you can use Citro Clear Oil. Okay? This is a super half cast whitening shower gel. You know those kind of shower gels you use and don't need cream. When you use the shower gel, don't need cream at all. So this is my tubes, I'm mixing them together. 
Okay, so when I finish mixing, I will pour them here. You don't pour, you don't pour your two directly inside your mixture. It's not safe. It's not good. You have to melt everything together. First of all, before pouring them, it is important, guys. Okay, yes, so we are done with this one. So now it is time to add our sham stretch mark water. So now I'll be adding half of this because the solution, uh, the this thing is not too much. Okay, so I'll be adding half of this. So with this in this soap, there's nothing like stretch mark. It will control stretch mark. So now it's time to mix this. All right, so another thing there, guys, if you're missing this, if you're using this procedure, when mixing, get a spatula or something that is in a rubber shape. Please don't use iron. Don't use iron spoons. They are not good. Don't use iron spoons. They are not good. It will kill the potency of this soap. It will kill the effective. So guys, this is this soap. So now, before you use this soap, what you do, you first of all apply these soaps on your skin. You allow it to rest for some time, then you wash it off. Why are you doing that? Why would you do that? Is because first of all, when you apply water on your skin, your pores are open. So when your pores are open, anything you apply on your skin tends to work faster. So because this soap is a very strong whitening soap, what you do is you first of all apply it on your skin to allow everything to incorporate on your skin. Then after five minutes, ten minutes, you can easily wash it off. There's no stress there. But if you can't wait, it is still okay. The soap is still going to be very effective with or without that. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video was helpful please subscribe to my channel i have so many recipes that i'll be creating very soon i have so many videos coming up that concerns the skin so please subscribe to my channel press the thumbs up the like button the subscription button i'm expecting your reviews when you try this see you guys and make sure you've done your so very well see you actually so bye guys see you guys and god bless